Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to On The Docks. My name's Jack, and today we're going to finally be doing a tour of my 1983 Catalina 30. I'm gonna go through the entire boat, and Rona's gonna help me. And we're gonna show you just how easy it is for two people to live aboard a 30-foot boat. I'm gonna get out of this freezing water now. I've just been practicing a little bit of Wim Hof method cold exposure. I think it's time for the video. I think it's time for the video, don't you? <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. I'm really excited to finally be doing a tour of my Catalina 30 sailboat. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, we got plenty more videos to come going into more detail about the boat, but right now we're gonna run through what life is like living on a sailboat with two people and how, just how we do it. So here we are right now, standing in the cockpit of the boat. This is where you do all your steering, you're hanging out. Um, your outside area on the boat. We got a folding table here to have uh, dinner and stuff, breakfast. It's really nice. Cup holders. Um, we even have a grill back here. There's a bench area back here to sit uh, or to keep stuff on, like extra fuel. We've got outdoor speakers. What else do we got? These are just the doors to the hatch into the boat. Um, this here is uh, called a dodger, and this is, is another good way to keep the wind off you and give you some shade on the boat. Um, it's really nice out here, super comfortable. We spend a lot of time out here, especially with the big uh, tent covering on the boat to keep the sun off, which is really nice when it's hot, and uh, it's also really nice for the rain and everything too. But anyway, let's take a look inside where Rona is waiting for us and we're gonna run through the interior of the boat with you. Rona? Hey guys, welcome to our Catalina 30 and I'll show you around what's inside of our tiny house, floating house. So first off, we're gonna start here in my galley. The galley. So this is the galley area, our main galley area. <laughs> Of course, there's only one galley. So we have two sinks, guys. It's all working, so we're both using it because it's easy to wash dishes. And this is our food storage in here and here inside. And we have an alcohol stove. It works in alcohol fuel. And we have a mini fridge. Here you go. So we use this one for a drink fridge. So this fridge just works for like on the dock, dock, dock power. When you're plugged into shore yeah. power, that's a, that fridge only works on shore power. Yes. So we have a Wi-Fi router. So we have Wi-Fi on board. So this is the Wi-Fi router running with the cords. Here you go, going up to the dock. And we have the microwave. And we have a kettle, water kettle, and um, what else in our galley? So we have our cutlers, drawers here, everything is here. And some of our cookware, which is the pots, pans, and um, chopping boards. And some other um, kitchen stuff is in here, inside the drawer. So. This is our garbage area. So yeah, this is mainly our galley. So we cook here. It's super easy for me because I'm so tiny. So we can, I mean, we can fit two people in here too. So let's proceed to our salon, guys. And I'm going to show you our salon, our dining area, and our 
guest area. So this is our salon. So this is our new couch, guys. Finally, Jack changed it for three years that he got the boat. So look at that. It's super nice. So yeah, so we had this new decorative pillows, which is I purchased in Amazon. And this is our mini bar with all our alcohols and stuff. This is the speaker, it works good. And this is our electronic area. So our fan, because it's summer, the summer is coming. So we need to have a fan inside the boat. We don't have air conditioned guys, so that's sad. <laughs> anyway, so this is our electronic area. This is our new lampshade. We changed it finally. And this is just like a stuff that we had. Um, our fruit um, basket and yeah so this is the side of our salon which is we have a huge salon guys <laughs> so we have the mugs we store the mugs here and some of our glasses is in here so it's safe if you're safe if you're if the boat is moving and this is our plates so it's all hiding because I don't like stuff that's all showy. So yeah, we have a hanging thing and we have a whiteboard so we can plan stuff in here. So this is all the areas in here and we have our mini table right here. Which is, this is a Yeti cooler so we use this as our table because it's super cute. But we have a dining table guys. All right, so when you want to have a dining experience inside the boat and you need more than just your little Yeti table, here's what you do. Start by removing your TV off the wall. I did something which I think is very clever and I wanted to show you guys is don't get crazy with your TV mounts and drilling and, and, and swings and all sorts of crazy mounts like that. All you need is some good Velcro from Home Depot. Stick it on there and if you got a pretty light, TVs are so light these days, you can just stick it right on and it works just fine. Set that down. So this is going to come down. This is going to be our table here. All right, and then you can stick your TV back on when you move to your table. I've also got Velcro on the underside of the table and on the wall so you can do both. And boom, you're done. You've got your dining table. So guys, here is our dining table. It's a super big table. This is like good for 10 people eating here. <laughs> Maybe not that many. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is our dining table, but we can make this one a guest bed. So we use this one as a bed as well. Um, if you're tired and you want to chill out in the salon, not going to the bed right away and watching TV. So we make this one as a bed. So Jack will show you how to do this bed. All right, so now you want to turn your dining area into your guest bedroom or your kind of hangout lounge area. Um, it just takes another couple seconds and you can turn it into a bed. So here we go. Rona, the bed if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. So this we store in the back of the boat. Rona's gonna show you that later, but stick it on there like that. It, and then we take our Yeti and we stick it right here on the side, a little side table. Oh, you can't really see the Yeti. A little Yeti side table. On our awesome, amazing guest bed. Rana, can we take a nap or should we finish the video? <laughs> Hi guys! So now we're here in our guest bed. So it's really comfy and at least we have a friend's come over and sleep over we have an amazing bed <laughs> yeah so once you're done using this bed it's super easy to put it back and just like that you've got your living room back I'm here in our bathroom 
or toilet. So I'm gonna show you the one that I'm sitting now is our toilet bowl. So this is our our huge toilet. No, just kidding. This is our toilet here, guys. So this is our toilet bowl, and um, the water is a fr it's made from fresh water. So you should open the water from the faucet, and it's gonna go down to your toilet, and you can flush it like that. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is our toilet. Um, this is all my stuff in here. So finally, I got my space for my stuff. And another one. So here you go. So this is so small toilet, but it's really good. for It works for two people as well. So this is all the hanger towels. And we have a shower here that you can shower if you want. But we rather not to because it's a lot of work. Next one is our bed <laughs> so this is our master area master bedroom so here you go so this is it's super huge and it's super comfortable bed it is actually really big for the most part like check it out i'll show you i can fit in here yeah we can fit two people in here easy yeah so this is our master bedroom so me and jack were sleeping here all the time and this is a new bed um jack changed it because he had a back problem and which is super comfortable and it's so hard for us to get up in the morning which is that's my area so there's a lot of stuff in here that i put in it's just like a decoration most of it and this is mr Panda. so he is my cuddle buddy and she likes to cuddle him more than me yeah <laughs> yeah this is our master bedroom it's really comfy and it's really good for two people yeah easy so so now guys you're wondering where is our clothes located so technically this is Jack's area so he owned this area so this is all his stuff in here the toiletries and everything and this is Jack's closet look at that how organized it is so I bought this one for him so he can have a lot of shelves because it's a small closet and this is all his drawers and everything maybe you're wondering guys where is my area where do you live in this boat, Wuhan? <laughs> so where is my clothes located? So I'm gonna show you around. Where is my mini area? Come on. <laughs> hey guys! Now I'm here in my area. So this is my tiny small area. As you can see, I can fit in there. So that's all it. So that's my area guys so i'm gonna explain it to you how to do it so basically this is the, the cushions of the bed guest bed so we put it in here so i have something in here to sit down look at that how comfy it is and this is all my clothes in here here you go so this area is um, full of cushions before from outside cushions the cushions used to be here now we took them out so we'd have more space yeah since we're two people living on board and it's not fair if it's only one person had the area so we finally change it to my space so we forgot to show you guys our other fridge yeah there's a whole whole other section over yes. here so this is all our panel boards for um cabin streaming the anchor the instruments and everything the stereo and everything is in there um this is all like boating stuff my vitamins and our coffee maker the nespresso this is our second fridge guys so this fridge works when you're sailing so we make this one as like a food fridges that it's easy to spoil when you're sailing well, do you think that's about it? Everything on the boat? Yeah, so that's our um, tour for our Catalina 30 and how we live on board for two people. Um, I'm so tiny, but Jack is so big, so 
we have a plenty space and we can leave. You can see the ceiling isn't too far from my head here. Yes. <laughs> so um, this is this is it, guys. So this is our Catalina 30. That's it. And maybe we're going to show you next time on our next vlog on how you organize the Catalina 30 to have a storages and also to make your Catalina 30 like homey and a lot of space to move, you yeah. know? Rona so, is an expert at organizing and stuff, so we're gonna do a video on how to organize your boat very well. And yeah. uh, this was just kind of a quick tour to show you guys how we live, and we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm sure we'll see you guys next time on the docks. Bye!